Mortal Kombat, Collector's Edition Comic Book The Shellen Tournament for Martial Arts was for ages a competition of honor and glory. Warriors from around the world were invited to take part. Shang Tsung, was one of those warriors. Upon entering the tournament, he immediately won the title of Grand Champion. But, unknown to the Shellen who were hosts of the contest, each of Sung's victories added to a hidden dark and destructive power. Shang Tsung, was cursed by his gods, and to appease them, must not only take the life of an opponent, he must also take the soul. Through this unholy ceremony, Shang Tsung is able to keep his youth. Until the arrival of Kung Lao, a noble and mighty Shilin monk. His strength and speed proved too much for the overconfident Shang Tsung. Lao wins the fight and the grand champion title that Tsung held so desperately. Years later, after the mysterious death of one of the three tournament grandmasters, Shang Tsung would return. Prematurely aged and weakened from the effects of failing to appease his gods, Tsung invites an outworlder and former pupil to compete. His name is, Goro. His speed was incredible. His strength unmatched. And although Kung Lao battled long and hard, Goro would prove the best of the two. For this ancient tournament, the victory marks the end of an era. And the start of a treacherous new beginning. One that will alienate the Shellen from their own tournament and guarantee Shang Tsung the immortality he so greatly desires. 500 years later. The Honan Province, present day China. Through his entire life, Liu Kan has heard stories and rumors about Shang Tsung's martial arts tournament. He is well aware of the evil behind the contest and must now decide whether to accept the invitation he recently received. I understand you have requested permission to compete in Shang Tsung's tournament. Yes Master Wu. I have been asked to attend. You must not overlook the true motive of Sung's invitation. In his eyes your defeat at the hands of Goro would most certainly put an end to the threat of the Shellen ever retaking the contest. But, Goro has grown overconfident. As would any warrior with a 500 year stretch of victories. Your mind and spirit must work as one to walk with the wind. These attributes will enable you to put an end to Shang Tsung's treachery. I grant you permission Liu Kan. The Shellen depend on your victory. I will not fail. That is my promise. Two weeks later. Hong Kong. Johnny Gage, martial arts movie star and soon to be competitor in Shang Tsung's tournament, is ready to board one of Tsung's sail barges. For the past few weeks, the competition is all he could think about. It has also been on the minds of his agent and personal secretary. Will you relax Chuck? Look Johnny, all I'm saying is maybe you should just reconsider this tournament thing. Look at that boat. You can't get on that hunk of junk. You're a commodity. You're looking at 20 mil this year. You wanna risk that? Johnny, you've got to be back by the 15th. You're scheduled to start shooting Iron Claw on the 17th and you haven't even read the script. Come on Johnny, these people could be crazy. This tournament isn't sanctioned by any martial arts organization and I can't find one person who's even heard of the friggin' thing. Just reconsider? I'll be back in two weeks. I promise. These are quality people, Chuck trust me. Yeah, just don't get hit in the face. Hey, who would hit Johnny Cage? Everybody loves me. And just a few miles away. Ping ping ping, boom boom boom. Alright, Kano, the bay is up ahead. Good, cause these chumps are getting to me. You'd better watch your back at that tournament. I hear stories about this Wang Feng dude. That's Shang Tsung, 
and I'm gonna rip his heart out and eat it for breakfast. Yeah. Slice and dice Kano. Slice and dice. And after I win this tournament, I want the entire Black Dragon gang there. I mean all of them from Shanghai to Chicago. I hear there's a palace on that island. Walls made of gold. We'll be looting for months. Later hoodlums. I got a date with a bulletproof Winnebago. Good luck Kano. You're gonna need it. Howdy chumps. What the? Thump, thump. Hey he's on the roof. Heads up Sonia. We got a live one at 12. Thump. 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 Too bad this thing is bulletproof. Yeah, I'd have that sucker tap dancing. Only one person would have the nerve to pull this off. Kano. That was Kano. We can't let him get away. Sparky and the rest of you stay after that jeep. Jake, follow me. We're gonna catch that one eye tin headed creep. Stay alert Jake. Eat plasma bolt suckers. Boom boom boom. Sonia, look out. Zip. Zip. He's not shooting at me. He's shooting at those barrels. Ping. Ping. Ba-boom. Kano uses the explosion to distract Sonia, and makes an incredible leap to safety aboard Shang Tsung's sail barge. I can't believe he got away. What an odd assortment of characters. That sure isn't the rest of the Black Dragon on that ship. I wonder where it's heading? Not very far if we open fire. No. We might hit a passenger. I'll radio ahead for a speeder boat. We'll let that floating junk pile sail further out before we intercept. Dude, was that real? No, it's an illusion. Hey, you're Johnny Cage. Can I have your autograph? As night falls, the sail barge sets out towards the East China Sea, and Kano joins a group of near 50 other warriors. All heading to Shang Tsung's tournament. All heading to impending doom. Deep in the mountain vastness of rural Japan, Shang Tsung traverses through strange lands to deliver a personal invitation. Raiden. God of Thunder, hear these words. I have traveled through your lands, spoken your language, and your religions to deliver this message. I ask of you once more. Accept this invitation and compete in my great and noble tournament. Or do you fear the dangers of mortal combat? I fear no mortal. And your tournament is no more great and noble than the decrepit body your spirit possesses. I have long watched your practices Shang Tsung. You are nothing but a peasant sorcerer. I accept your invitation and give you this warning. All to oppose Raiden, will be crushed. Your acceptance is welcomed, Great Raiden. Oh. And please remember this tournament takes place in my domain, under my rule. And on the East China Sea, Shang Tsung's sail barge continues its trek towards the tournament's secret location. Come on, Cage. Say it. Wap. I'll be back. That wasn't my movie. Get up, Cage. You got no stunt men to take hits for you here. I do my own stunts. I'd say the movie star is unfairly outnumbered. Who the heck are you? My friends call me, Liu Kang. You are not a friend. Thanks. That's all I needed. A moment of distraction is all the star needs to deliver his patented shadow kick. Crack. And before any of Kano's newfound friends can join the fight. Pow cow. Liu Kang ends it. The next time we do any fighting will be at the tournament. And it may also be against each other. Watch your back Mr. Hollywood, cause you just made me your worst enemy. Proceed with caution Johnny Cage. 
Kano has lots of friends here. He will make the tournament difficult for you. I think I can take care of myself. As Liu Kang and Johnny Cage get better acquainted, they fail to notice the shadow clad figure watching from above. He is a member of the Lin Kuei, a rare clan of Chinese super assassins. Unfortunately for him, his attention is focused on the altercation below and not on the ghastly specter he is about to encounter. Lin Kuei. Look into my eyes. No. It can't be. I, I. Yes. You murdered me exactly two years ago to this day. But my demons have allowed me to return to avenge my death. I could kill you at this moment. But I am not a murderer. We will meet at the tournament. And then, Lin Kuei. You will pay for your crimes. You are a fool for sparing my life. That has yet to be seen. At sunrise, the sail barge which left Hong Kong late the night before, is joined by a dozen other ships. All arriving at Shang Tsung's island fortress. After a day of practice and training, they are greeted by the island's emperor and the tournament's 500-year grand champion. Welcome warriors to the greatest of all martial arts tournaments. You have all traveled great distances to be here. I hope it proves well worth it. Now let me introduce the newest entry into our contest. Lieutenant, Sonia Blade. We found her following one of my ships to this sacred island. Like all of you, her life depends on her performance in the tournament. But so do the lives of her companions. Kano, hey. I can knock them all out at once. Johnny Cage, the tournament has taken a turn for the worst. Liu Kang, it was to be expected of Shang Tsung. Let the tournament begin.